All right, so before you do anything, before you even think about mounting the ice tower cooler, the Pi 52 ice tower cooler on your Raspberry 4, the very first thing you need to do, you do not, you do not, I emphasize, you do not just unplug your, uh, you know, your my node, you know, your full node from the plug, or, you know, you just don't unplug it. The safest way in order to, you know, not to cause any damages uh, to the, you know, to the drive or to the data or what have you, is I'm going to show you right now. You're going to go to your My Note settings. You're going to go to your dashboard. You're going to go to settings. As you can see, I have you know pretty high temperature still. It's 71 degrees Celsius. So it shows you everything. You know the disk usage, CPU, RAM temperature, especially. So you go to settings, and you you know you scroll down, and there's uh, under device, it says shut down device. And that's exactly what you do. You shut down the device. So it, you manually shut down the device before you, you know, you unplug it or you, you know, unscrew the whole housing of your uh, repurposed, in my, which is in my case, repurposed Casa 2 hardware to a MyNote. And uh, before you want to, you know, even think about mounting your ice tower cooler on your Raspberry 4 and all the other elements. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go shut down device, go confirm with OK, and now it's shutting down and leave it. Be patient so it can shut it down. And, and then once everything is done, once you mount it, once everything is really done and you're finished, then you can, you know, you need to power, uh, power cycle the device to turn it back on, which it says here. All right. So I'm just going to wait and I'll see you. Uh, we'll go through the other steps uh, right in a moment. All right. So after I have um, shut down manually my, uh, my node, my full node via the, the dashboard of my node uh, by shutting the device manually, this is what you definitely need to do before you unplug you know, your, your device, your, your Raspberry. So this is actually the housing of my Raspberry 4, the so-called, it's a Casa 2 hardware, which is a Raspberry 4 with four gigabit RAM, which I had repurposed uh, to a MyNote uh, premium to be specific. Now, the thing is, um, it ha the housing uh, probably uh, or pretty certainly later on I cannot use anymore because uh, because of the, the four screws. Really magnetic, I guess. All right, so these are the four screws, and I'm gonna put them somewhere. So opening up this housing is a little bit. Um, it's not that easy because you need somehow to, um, you know, open the side of it. And no, it's, I guess it's, you know, so what I'm gonna do is a little bit, you know, I'm gonna stretch it like to the red, right, right and left. Oh, I, you see, okay, this is important. You need to take out sort of a, to the, goes to the USB. Um, so this is why it got now without breaking it. I don't wanna break it, you know, for whatever reason. This is the housing and this is what it looks like, right? And it actually got a, it's already got a fan. It was already delivered uh, with a fan, but, uh, I made sure that, um, you know, I want to make sure that it's it cannot overheat again. So I, most probably I will have to remove this original fan and then put this fan on, right, on top of it with those, uh, with the assembly stuff that comes with it. That's these two, uh, I don't know what you call them, but I guess uh, in the description, it says here, uh, what does it say? It says uh, screwdriver. So it comes with a, with a screwdriver, with a mounting brackets pack and acrylic protection panel and, and a, an instruction. Okay, and this is what it looks like. 
this is what it looks like. And eventually, once it's finished, it's, it should look something like this, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will have to I will have to I will have to check whether this fan, this ice tower cooler, can be mounted on top of this whole thing without having to remove the fan. But I'm not sure yet because I have to put the heat sinks, the three heat sinks that I'm still waiting for, on top of these um black um spots right and then i can start mounting uh with the you know with these assembly parts so these are the screws all the screws and the nuts and everything else what i'm not gonna need is the thermal uh the thermal what do you call it the thermal it comes with these pink pink uh, sheets these are, uh, what does it call it? I'm not sure what, what to call it. Thermal tape. Yeah, it's called thermal tape. So I'm not going to use those because I have, you know, I have already the um, heat sinks which I had ordered. So I'm going to put these in a tray, all these screws and nuts. All right. And I'm going to unpack the mounting brackets, right? All right. Okay. These are the mounting brackets. So what I'm going to show, and I'm also, which I also showed you in the beginning, this is the heat dissipating thermal paste, MX2. Now we'll see if this whole thing, what it should look like. So you got to take this thing, this ice tower cooler, and you have to watch out for the direction, right? And this is what the instruction is for. So this is what it should look like, right? So it means that, uh, let me see. It means that if I'm gonna show this exactly what it, what it, how is it illustrated? Right, so I'm going to screw one screw over here, right? And the other one, I'm going to put it like this. So this is, it's sort of the bottom side, right? So this is the bottom side of the fan. And this is how I'm gonna mount it one by one. Just make sure you mount it, you know, in the right direction. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take one screw. So it's you got to play a little bit with it because um, I'm not even sure whether I have the right screwdriver. I've actually have ordered the a mini screwdriver set. I'll see if I can put it on with the other screwdriver. Yeah, it's not easy. It's um, especially if you if you're doing it all by yourself. You need to make sure that you can hold it all the way through. So I have found the, let me put it this way. Okay, I think the easiest way is to just slide it through. This is number one, right? The mounting bracket, and then you put it inside that thing. I think I got the direct direction right. So this is what it looks, what it should look like, but don't tighten it too much. I think there's a warning somewhere. All right, so I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit so that it doesn't, you know, go red, right and left. And we'll take the other one, number two, and do the same thing. We're gonna take again, slide it through, put it right on top of the hole, and we're going to, not too tight, but not too loose. Okay, I think I should be good now. Another thing is, um, I need to 
I need to check whether now what you can what you can definitely do is you can already put you can prepare the 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 copper sticks and the nuts and uh, and uh, attach them to the to the to the mountain brackets right so this is what we're gonna do okay so we're going to which is not easy to be honest with you fast forward to two and a half to two x speed this is the second one again take a copper stick and a nut just got to be careful it doesn't slip out of your hands because then it's going to be a headache finding those really small parts the adequate two but you don't need to tighten it too much i think uh, that's what it's supposed to look like okay so what we're going to do is so this is what it looks like and okay this is what we're going to do we're going to remove the original fan i'm going to unplug this right it's pretty easy i'm going to unplug this and it's pretty easy actually to because it's sort of a just unplug the fan beautiful so and now what i need to do sort of a completed you know uh, sort of a assembled by casa casa 2 right so what i need to do because i need to mount fan but since uh, they mounted this whole thing to the to the ssd i need to uh, unscrew these four screws so this is what we're gonna do very easy so this is the screwdriver that comes with the f with the ice tower so i can use those can you use this screwdriver now be careful okay so this is the raspberry 4 the naked night raspberry 4 and then what we're going to do is essentially we're going uh once i have the heat sinks i'm going to show you later on i'm going to put those three heat sinks on top of these things i'm going to but before that i'm going to put the uh heat dissipating thermal compa compound or uh uh cooling paste on those uh on those spots and then put the heat sinks on right the cooling bodies so this is what we're going to do later on okay as you can see um and i couldn't have known that because i contacted even james and lot of casa and asked him you know um about the installation and mounting and the only thing he said is that i can't put on back the housing which you know which is not really an issue because I don't need really housing, I just need to mount, you know, the the the, the ice tower uh, cooler. So because of the height, you know, you can't put on. That, but that's not the issue here. The issue is here that this is the raspberry, and they mounted the they had mounted the, in, uh, they had fixed the raspberry four to the, you know, to this uh, to this SSD disk. And with this, you know, they, they connect the SSD with the Raspberry, right? So now I can't really uh, mount the, the ice tower on top of that or, or, it, or I can't fix, fixate it. Um, so I can't really, you know, screw together. So that's my issue. I can put it together like this, right? And I can still, you know, connect the Raspberry to the disc, you know, with the original, you know, whatever plugger, uh, double plugger, USB plugger. But I'm unable to to fixate it, right? So that's my problem. So if you should have a repurposed Casa 2, that's gonna that's gonna be the issue. So you can learn from my lessons here. All right. So. But what I can do is I can, these are the cooling bodies I told you about, right? It's four pieces. So this one comes on this one, this one on this one. And there are two small ones for here. Or I'm not even actually sure whether this one fits on the very smallest one. So I'm going to just, you know, take the three and put the fourth one aside. And this is the MX2 uh, heat dissipating thermal paste. So I'm going to open it and really just put some of it, right? Just very, very carefully. It 
it's sufficient if you just put maybe drop by drop. And then you have to take off the foil. from this cooling body, from the heat sink. And carefully place it on top. And it should stick, right? It should stick. I'm just gonna put a little bit more, but that's enough. And this is the first cooling body or heat sink, right? Okay. This is the second one. I will remove the adhesive. Okay, I think that should be enough, more than enough. So this is the second one. And the third one goes right here. Let me see if they're, they're the same size, the smallest one, right? So I will take off the adhesive sticker and just put a little bit All right, this is what you have. This is what you have these things for. So I'm just gonna clean it a little bit. I take colloidal silver because I don't have anything else just to you know, be on the safe side. You need to be really careful. And then I'll just use a dry one. Okay. And I'll put this one on top of this one. And I could use, theoretically, I could use the fourth one over here. Again, take off the sticker and just put a tiny little bit. Okay, that's enough. So I have the four cooling bodies on top of them. 
And I'll just make sure that nothing sticks out. This is a very messy thing. Okay, so the only choice I have is to put this, the double plugger, in order to, you know, connect the, uh, the Raspberry 4 to the uh, SS, uh, to the disk, like it was originally. You have to be really careful, just slide it in. Okay, and now, I can just, you know, loosely put, um, you see, now I have an issue. I cannot put the, the you see, I think it's too high. The cooling bodies are too high and that's weird. The only question is now, how can I fixate the ice tower somehow, at least loosely, so it doesn't fall off or just, you know, moves during the vibration or anything, you know, during operation. So the only like uh, improvised solution I have is I'm going to put um, usually these four other ones, they're, actually, uh, you know, used to be, um, they're supposed to be, you know, for the mounting to the acrylic plate um, or with the screws. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, this is not what it's supposed to look like, but I have no other choice. I'm just gonna put these four on the bottom of the uh, of the brackets to the nuts uh, to the you know what is it called to the copper sticks and I can only like put it like that and now at least it's stable somehow or at least you know it doesn't move and um, yeah so this is what I can do and now I can connect it. But I can also try, no, this doesn't work, see? I was thinking, you know, to put the acrylic plate on this one, but then, no, it doesn't work this way. So the only choice I have is I can just loosely put it on. And maybe I'll, later on, I'll find some kind of, you know, of, uh, of, of um, method to at least, you know, fixate it in a way that it, uh, during operation, it doesn't really, uh, you know, vibrate too much. Now, as I said before, um, it's a real issue with uh, with this setup because of the Casa 2, you know, installation, the original installation. They connected it, you know, really strange way. So I'm not able, I mean, because for practical purposes, I guess, because of the, you know, also because I guess of the housing of the Casa 2 housing. So I can't use that anymore. And I cannot like mount it, like fixate it um, uh, the way it should be. Now, the only way that I've, you know, that I can do it is, is like, you know, I connected the cables, by the way, it's the, the description is inside this uh, pamphlet or prospect or whatever you call it. And um, so it's the five volt um, connections are the two, um, the two outer ones. No, I'm sorry, the two inner ones, right? And the black, the third one, the, bl the black one, um, the first two ones, the first two, uh, 
is is um, the five volt, and the third one is the negative, the black one, right? So yeah, so there's you know, I mean, there's a description, but I can't show you like in detail uh, what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Unfortunately, in, in some other instructional videos, they don't show this as detailed as it should be. So people could be really confused what connection. But this is the description. So the first two ones, the first two uh, sticks are red it's five volt and the red and the and the third one is is for the black one for the whatever you call it the uh, raspberry gpio header the acrylic plate i cannot use housing the original housing i cannot use anymore so i need to later on i need to find some improvised way to to somehow make it a little bit more stable or just you know somehow adjust uh, adjust it in a way so that it doesn't move while it is you know operating and yeah, that's for it. So this is what I somehow, um, you know, thought of might be at least for now the, you know, the best solution. I took the thermal pads, which came with the package uh, of the ice tower. And I put it like, because I only have three of them, I might find maybe I can, you know, get, get a fourth one somewhere and just put it somewhere, you know, as sort of a, a um you know as a foundation or as a grounder so that it does not you know say so somehow, somehow um uh, balances out the vibration right so this is what i'm gonna do but it's not really like fixated all right i just want to emphasize this it's not fixated but at least it it puffers a little bit you know doesn't look really sexy but <laughs> that's that's the best i can do and i just thought you know for all for all those people out there like if you have yourself you know a casa tool which you have repurposed and you want to put like a really effective because i done a lot of research and that's the only you know uh, ice cooler i mean there might be a lower one or but still you would have the problem of mounting it so yeah, because this whole thing is attached to one another, the disc with the Raspberry 4 of the Casa 2. So I can't do anything much. And, you know, I had to, again, uh, use a double plug in order to, uh, you know, uh, have the disc, the SSD with the Raspberry connected. So that's my, that's my issue. And, you know, and the whole thing, you know, is, is really mounted in a weird way. So I cannot, I cannot, you know, um do it any other way so what i also did i just think you know because i have no other solution for this i i put some thermal compound the you know thermal paste a little bit on this on this you know on these pads that i used which is not to be you know it's not actually to be used for this kind of purpose but i have no other choice and in order you know to make it a little bit sticky on those on these pads and i would need actually a fourth one for this one but I don't have one. So um, that's how you improvise like MacGyver. All right, so this is the new setup uh, with the you know, new eye cooling tower. And as you can see, I couldn't mount it. Uh, I even had to, you know, use an, an old adapter in order to you know, put it into the socket and activate uh, and turn on the, the fan. Um, so yeah, so I couldn't really fixate it. it. I just put it in the corner somewhere, you know, and uh, it runs, it works. It's all up and running. My, my node is, you know, up and running. Everything is green again. Uh, and um, yeah, so, you know, I mean, it's not the sexiest uh, version I had uh, envisioned <laughs> or this, you know, it's not really a slick a setup, but that's the way it is. And I don't, I can't even put a housing on it because I, or I can't, Actually, I can't even put the old housing back on because of the height of the of the ice, you know, ice tower or cooling tower or whatever you call it. But it works. It just needs uh, in order to activate the uh, the fan or you know this the whole LED uh, uh, cooling tower. You need to plug this in because I didn't have that originally at all. Uh, this this connection. I only you know connected to the to my you know to the socket. You know for the whole for the whole. Uh, you know, uh, set up and with the LAN, uh, with the, you know, the, the, the internet. And yeah, so this is my setup. And if you have any, 
you know, feedback, comments, questions, let me know. My email address is hello at the totalconnector.com or just uh, send me a DM. Please don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel or podcast platform. If you have any kind of suggestions, recommendations uh, for other, you know, users or listeners, followers, uh, please put it in the comments below in YouTube. So thank you so much again. And uh, I'll come up uh, with uh, more tutorials, maybe together with other, uh, you know, experienced uh, Bitcoiners and techies. Hope you'll enjoy this. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.